guys, it's time for another of how do I do that? So today we are looking at the uh, Linzer cookie ornaments and there are about a dozen different combinations of the way you can do this. You can do it with um, uh, marine vinyl and glitter vinyl um, in light or dark. You can do it making puffy with some glitter vinyl or uh, glitter um, felt and vinyl. You can do a lace overlay. You can do felt and felt with a little bit of plastic to make it look like the jelly. There's just all kinds of ways. So we're gonna run through um, a couple of variations. Um, as always, I always start with my stip sheet. You will need whatever your base material is, either the vinyl here or the felt. And I cut mine to four and a half by five, two pieces, one for the front, one for the back. Then you will need to decide if you want lace or not. This is four inch roll lace, and I cut it four inches by six, uh, five inches, four inches by five inches. Um, and then you'll need to decide what you want for your innards. I'm using um, glitter canvas for one of them. Um, I'm using uh, some batting for one of them. Um, I'm using just plain felt to go over the batting and a little piece of uh, clear plastic to make it look like the jelly. And then another one of them will have glitter felt. So um, all kinds of combinations. You can make them look however you want for whatever kind of cookie you want. Then you will also need about eight inches of ribbon and you can use um, the ribby ribbon or you can use satin ribbon or what have you. Then the first step, color stop one, or first step is you hoop up some medium weight cutaway. Step two is you run the die line. Uh -huh. um, once you've run your die line, you take your ribby ribby and take a little piece of tape and you fold your ribbon in half so the, the raw ends are together. And this little die line right here, you make sure that you're about a quarter inch past that and you tape down the raw ends below the die line. You wanna make sure you're coming up straight up. Then, ha -ha, you tape the top down so that your he needle head does not get caught when it's tacking that down. You pop it in the machine and you run color stop two. Once you've run color stop two, you peel up um, your bottom tape and you float your, first piece of base material. So if you're doing just the plain Jane felt guy, um, you just lay your felt down and you're done. If however you, uh, or if you're doing the plain Jane vinyl guy, you lay your vinyl down. If you're doing um, a lace overlay, you lay your vinyl and your lace and you run color stop three which is going to give you a die line for the jelly placement. And we'll be back in a minute for that. Once you have run color stop three, you have a die line. Okay, for that die line, that's telling you where to place your jelly um, fabric material piece part. So whatever your jelly is, like for this one, we're doing the glitter canvas. Okay, for this one, um, we are going to do some batting and some plain red felt and a little piece of plastic. Okay, back in a second. Go ahead and place your jelly and run color stop four. Okay, we have gone ahead and run color stop four. That is a zigzag tack down um, for our jelly okay and we are going to with our applique scissors carefully cut around the outside of the zigzag making sure that we don't catch the fabric or vinyl underneath and this one is the red glitter canvas on taupe felt We'll throw that back in and we'll run color stop five. This one is marine vinyl in, um, I think, sand. 
with some lace with a, another piece of red glitter canvas. And again, you just cut along the zigzag, but you want to be super careful not to catch the lace. So go slow, go careful. Get right up against that zigzag. If you have a little bit left over sticking out, just a little bit, it should be okay because the satin is about two, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, yeah, 0 0.2 millimeters wider than the zigzag. So that should help hide any of your not great cutting skills if you are not an experienced applique cutter. And now since this worked so well, we are going to go ahead and increase the degree of difficulty and we're going to applique trim the last one. This one's got three letter layers to applique trim. It's got the clear plastic, the clear red felt, or um, red felt batting, and now I'm gonna have to dodge lace and felt underneath of it. You can do this. We can all do this. This is not that hard. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing all three layers that I'm wanting to cut away and pulling them up and applying just a little bit of pull away pressure um, so that there's some tension right against those stitches so that when I cut, it kind of tucks back underneath the stitches. Go slow, go careful. Pay attention to what you're doing. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes pure perfect. These really are some super quick ornaments. I know they have an applique inside. Oh my God, how horrible. You're, you're fine. You can do this. They're not overly complicated. All right, almost done. There we go. Now we're gonna put all three of these guys back into the machine and we are going to run Color Stop for all of them. For all of them, color stop five, five. And there we are, we are back. So you'll notice we have a nice pretty satin stitch going all the way around the outside. We used felt on top, so we're gonna flip our hoop over and we are going to make sure that our dial line is covered and just use a couple of little pieces of tape and tape down our back. On each one of these guys, we are just going to attach the back, then we'll put it in the machine and we'll run color stop six. We'll run color stop six and our outline will be in a thread color that matches our um, um, ornament base. Okay, so if you're using a lighter color for your cookie, then you'll want a lighter beige thread. If you're using a darker color, you'll want a darker one. Put it back in and we'll run color stop six on all of these guys and back in a minute. So here we are, all our little maids in a row. So what you're going to do is obviously make sure you don't have any little heads or, or um, heads, oh, <laughs> tails poking out. Then you're gonna pop these bad boys right out of the hoop. There you go. I'm gonna fussy cut to make my life easier. When you're cutting um, for real and fussy cutting, you want to make sure that you do not cut um, your ribbon. Ooh, that'd be awful. Okay, there we go. And to make these look even more cookie-ish, I am going to use peaking shears. And you want to cut about one-eighth of an inch away from your tack together line, your tack together stitch. And remember, just like cutting normal, move the project, not your scissors. And 
And then when I get up here, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do just to make sure that I don't mess anything up. I'm gonna take um, the ribbon, the interfacing, or the interfacing, the stabilizer, and um, back, and I'm gonna pull it, fold it all the way over. And I am only going to cut, well, first I'm gonna cut this machine out of here. There we go. I'm only going to cut the top layer going around the top there. And now I'm gonna pull the ribbon to the front and I'm only going to cut the back. And once I'm clear of the ribbon, I'll put it all back together. I'll come in here and clean that up and continue happily on my way. There you go. That one's all done. And just to show you what it looks like on vinyl with a lace, I'll go ahead and cut this one real quick too. First, I'm going to fussy cut so I'm not having to arm wrestle all this stuff. And so I don't mess anything up. I'm gonna make sure that I have pulled the ribbon out of the way. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna come down here and blah, blah, blah. Now I'm gonna take my pinking shears and you don't have to use pinking shears. You can use, um, if they're sharp, like the um, scrap booking scissors with the pretty scallopies, or you can even do straight cut with normal scissors. That's entirely up to you. And I'm gonna cut. So right about there, and get this stuff out of the way. Then I'm going to finish cutting up. Fold that out of the way, finish cutting up. And then I'm gonna cut a little bit down. Remember, fold your ribbon, your back, and your stabilizer out of the way. Then I'm going to fold this here. And then I'm gonna come over here and fold that. And I'm gonna come back and catch all the layers. And there we go with that one. And yep, there you go, guys. I'm not going to do the angel on camera because I'm running behind. So peace.